Hello guys, welcome to another Next.js tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to see how we can use Next.js to serve single page application. In this example, a React app. So instead of having your Next uh, maybe API on a different URL and your React application on a different URL, our goal is to have these two different uh, applications or projects running in the same URL. For our local environment, this can mean that our Nest application is running in localhost 5000, our React app is running in localhost 3000, but we want to serve both of them in localhost 5000, that is in the Nest project. To get us started, um, this lesson assumes that you know how to set up, how to create a new React app, as well as how to create a new Nest application. So that very basic understanding of React or and Nest JS is required. With that in mind, um, I've already created a bare bone, you know, bare minimum application for both React and Nest. For Nest, I use the Nest CLI. This is uh, the command Nest new the project name. I called my 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 Nest. That is the name of my Nest application. For React, I use create React app npx create React app. The project name I call that my React. And over to VS Code. This is my Nest application. There's nothing much happening here. I only made a tiny change to the default structure that Nest CLI will give you when you create a new project. This used to be, this is normally get hello, I think. So instead of returning a, a string, I'm just returning this dummy had a coded list of users, array of users that we are going to use to test what we are doing. Another change is, um, over here because currently the way it is the react is in a different project and all that we we enable uh, cross origin resource sharing to allow all just to allow us demo do the demonstration of course this is not what we want to use for production this kind of configuration so that is for the next application i will head over to to the react project for the react app what we have is a basic structure when you use create react app to scaffold a new react application so but i added just a little piece of code there um, what is going on here is that i am making request to the next application this very one here getting the list of users if you remember what is it a controller this so when we get to the home page url this will just return the list of users that is what we are making um a request here in the use effect hook to fetch list of users when this component is mounted then down here we are listing out the result that is the list of the users so i will just go ahead to run these two projects so we see what we have before we proceed for the next application i'll say npm run start dev so it will run and watch for changes for the react project i'll just say yarn start we wait for the two applications to start. All right, both our Nest application and React app, they're up and running. If I head over to the browser, this is the response we get from the Nest application, the list of users that I had coded in the controller. And over to the React app, remember that we are fetching that list of users from the, from the request. 
that's what we have over there as well um, so that is the request here and we set user we display the list of user now what we want to do is to use nest to serve this instead of serving it on a different url i'm going to head over to nest JS documentation for that um, we are going to make use of the package nest.js serve static all we have to do is copy it copy that npm command to install i will stop the server for now with two servers in the next application i will paste npm install save uh, nest serve static and install the package we we'll wait for that to install it looks like um, the installation failed um, I think this is required and the version we are trying to install is is compatible with newer version of nest our project is running in nest version 8 so let's install an older version of this of the package so we say npm install the package at 2.2.2 let's try that this time the installation was successful please take note we installed the older version next thing we need to do is to go to app module and configure that um, the serve static module this is how we can do it i will copy this to save us some time then head over to app.module.ts inside the import we are going to import the self static module make sure to import that and this this is where nest is going to look for the front end application right so we say root part is part dot join join make sure to import that from part so this is where nest is going to look for our react our front end our spa um, static application i think client is the default anyway so even if you don't set you don't add this option i think it should be client by default it therefore means that in our next application we are going to have a folder in the root called client this folder will contain the react application after we have built the react app when we run on yarn build to build our react react app the content of that will be uh, what we have as our client you know the client folder here so let's go over to react application and run build first over to the react app i'll say yarn build we wait for the build to complete so our build succeeded let's head over to to the react project in the react app you notice that we have this build folder that was just generated then another thing to take to take note of is that by default nest js nest uh, self static let me go over there is expecting that when we get into this client folder we are going to see a file called index.html right uh, coincidentally our react build we have index.html of course these are configurable you can check the documentation to see the other options how to change some of these defaults right so make sure to check the documentation but since our react build has this index.html um, I think that should solve so I will copy the uh, the build folder copy head over to the next application and paste that in the root but because from our configuration we say that this this should be named um, client that is the folder if you remember our configuration here I will go ahead and 
rename this to client of course you can call it build if you want to but i think client makes sense whatever you have here should be what you have for that uh, front end application so i'll call this client okay um that should be it for now let's go ahead and test the application and see what happens first make sure that um your react app is stopped i mean it doesn't stop anything but just to avoid confusion so it wouldn't look like what you are seeing is our react application right um the next app is also stopped for now i will start the next application again by running npm run start dev that will start our next app the react app is shut down for now though it doesn't really matter we wait for the next application to start our next application is up and running so i'll head over to the browser this is the old react app if i refresh now you see that it fails because it is not running and then this is the next application let me refresh refresh that oh what happened we expected to see our react home page here since we are already serving our react application in our next application that is when we visit localhost 5000 we expected to see the react home page but nest is still giving us the list of users the reason for that is that there is some kind of confusion here uh, nest is kind of doesn't know should i serve the list of users and the home page url or should i serve um, the react home page we can clear that confusion um, there are different options i think for example we can head over to the app controller this is the method and this is the endpoint that returns the list of users we can treat this as an api right we can say api slash users to return the list of users instead of our application home page so this should solve that um, confusion if i go ahead and refresh this page one more time this time we get our react home page and of course the list of users is gone the reason for that is that remember that we are fetching list of users from localhost 5000 but we just changed that to localhost 5000 slash api slash users before we fix that um remember that this serve static module has different other options like i already mentioned you can check let's check the documentation to see the things you can configure for example we can tell um the module to ignore our api endpoint right so we can use the option exclude tell it what routes to exclude from the substatic we say api slash you know anything this is how we can exclude some routes okay if we go back of course um we still get the same result now i will go ahead and go to the api endpoint slash api slash users we get the list of users where we expect it to be now that is at api slash users let's go ahead and update our react project to point to the correct url go to react app we just have to correct this to api slash users save that but we still need to build and deploy to the next application again so i'll run the command again yarn build we wait for the build to complete while we wait for that please guys hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so to help the channel grow and so that you can get recommendations when there are new courses okay the build is still running the build just completed um we do the normal thing we just copy the build folder copy head over to the next js application in the root and let's remove this client client folder the old one 
we paste the build and to rename to client client we save that okay so we expect that we should have the list of users when we Okay, localhost 5000. This time we get the list of users as expected. Alright guys, um, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. And this brings us to the end of the lesson. Please take a deep dive into the documentation and see other options that might apply for your to your project. Until next time. Happy coding.